Good morning, I am Miss Leanne from the Carbondale Public Library and today we are going to, first we're going to celebrate Poetry Month. April is Poetry Month so we're going to talk about some poetry books and then we are going to finish up National Library Week and make a corner bookmarks. I have two versions, we're going to do a Minecraft one and a unicorn one. And actually I'll show them to you when we get to these books because I have two, I'm using my samples in my books here. So first we're going to start with Nature's Paint Box, a seasonal gallery of art and verse. Um, they're written by Patricia Thomas, illustrated by Craig Orbeck, and published by Millbrook Press. And these poems explore nature through the seasons. So we go through winter, I believe it starts with winter, okay, so we start with winter, and then we go into spring, into summer, and into fall. And each poem, each season has its own poem, but each poem, it runs like a story. So the winter goes into spring, and spring goes into summer, and summer goes into fall. Um, so this can be read as just a story on its own, without actually necessarily realizing that it's poetry. Then we also have Silly Street by Jeff Foxworthy, and it's illustrated by Steve Jorkman and published by Harper Collins. Um, so these are some silly poems. They're written about different kinds of things like there's a house of clocks, a money puddle, and pets palooza and more. So you would have to take a look at them to see those silly poems. And I have more silly poems here. We have Where the Sidewalk Ends. And that is written and illustrated by Giselle Silverstein published by Harper Collins Publishers. And these books used to be some of my favorites when I was a kid. These are very silly poems. Um, a lot of nonsense poems. There's a crocodile that goes to the dentist, a sister for sale, someone is eaten by a boa constrictor, band-aids are used all over the body, and so many more silliness, so much more silliness. I'm actually gonna read one of them today. You can see, here's my bookmark. Here is one of our bookmarks here. So there's our Minecraft bookmark. And I'm going to read spaghetti. Spaghetti, spaghetti all over the place, up to my elbows, up to my face, over the carpet and under the chairs, into the hammock and under the chairs, or I'm sorry, into the hammock and wound round the stairs, filling the bathtub and covering the desk, making the sofa a mad mushy mess. The party is ruined, I'm terribly worried. The guests have all left, unless they're all buried. I told them, bring presents, I said, throw confetti. I guess they heard wrong, because they all threw spaghetti. You can see there's an illustration there, too. So what a mess of spaghetti. Such silliness. Okay, and our last one is the Bill Martin Jr. Book of Poetry. It's edited by Bill Martin Jr. and Michael Sampson, published by Simon & Schuster. And there's poems on many different topics in here, many subjects, animals, nature, school, and much more. Let's see, what else? We have uh, people and places, all, all the year, um, family and home, and Mother Goose. Did you know that Mother Goose a lot of Mother Goose rhymes are poetry. So I decided to read April Rain Song, and that is to go with the fact that April, that we're in April. And then here is our sample unicorn bookmark that we're gonna make later in a few minutes. Okay, and here's the, on this side is the one that I'm reading. And it is written by Langston Hughes. Let the rain kiss you, let the rain beat upon your head with silver liquid drops. Let the rain sing you a lullaby. The rain makes still pools on the sidewalk. The rain makes running pools in the gutter. The rain plays a little sleep song on our roof at night. And I love the rain. What do you think about the rain? I know some people like it, some people don't. Okay, so now I will show you what you are going to need for your bookmark craft. And then I'll zoom in so you can see how to put it together. Okay, so for 
our Minecraft one for the creeper. You're just going to need green paper and black paper. You could also use crayons. Um, on this one, I drew the face on. Um, on the one that I'm going to make, I'm going to glue the parts on so you can see two different ways of doing it. If you don't have green paper, you could color a paper green. And if you're going to color it green, you can kind of give it a more camouflage look, like different squares of green, like a real creeper. Um, and for the unicorn, you'll need white paper. Um, so white paper and crayons. Okay, so now we're going to zoom in and we'll show you how to fold fold these and then I'll show you how to make them look like um, one like a unicorn and one like a creeper. So we're going to start with the creeper. So we're going to need our green paper or as I said, um, you could color white paper to look like the creeper color. You could use different kinds of greens and or you could do another Minecraft character if you prefer. Um, you will need to cut your papers into square. Um, these are four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So I just cut um, a regular computer sized paper into four squares. Um, and then you could also use six by six. That seems to be a dimension that works well. Two. Okay, so we're going to have our square. Uh, we're going to take two corners, opposite corners, and make a triangle. Um, so what you're going to want is to have your po this point away from you. I'm doing it, it's actually towards me because I want you to see, for, from your angle, I want you to see how it would look if you had it in front of you. So we have our, we, now we have three corners. So we're going to take this corner and move it, bring it up to the center corner and fold. And you want to make sure to crease that well. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now you're going to unfold that, and you're going to take this top corner and fold it down the middle. Now the nice thing about doing those first is that now you have a guide um, for centering this fold. Now you're only going to take one layer, because you see you have two layers here. You have one layer here and one layer here. You're going to take one layer and fold it like this. You're going to refold these. Now, in my paper instructions, I don't do do it. I do have them a little different here. But before we fold these under, because we're gonna fold these under, we're gonna fold it like this first. So you're gonna take your flap and fold the edge, match the two edges. And this will be, make it easier to fold under. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Make a crease. So now this is the tricky part. We have a pocket here that we made. We are going to take each of these flaps and fold them under. Sorry, I have to... There we go. We're going to do the same thing on the side. And I find it easier, if I have this crease already done, I find it easier to fold under. And now we have our corner bookmark. So now the part is to decorate it. Um, for the creeper, we're going to flip this over, and we're going to decorate this side. But you could also decorate this side. Just keep in mind that this part is what's going to go in the page. So if you decorate this part, you're not going to see much. But like I said, for this one, for the creeper, we are going to do this side. Now, as I told you on my sample, I drew the face on. This time, for this one, I cut out the pieces. Um, I should have, I do recommend drawing the, the shapes first before you cut them out. And even on, if you're going to color them, I'd recommend the same thing. I didn't do it, and I feel like it could be better. And the same thing with these. I didn't, the black paper is hard to see, so I didn't draw them on, but I kind of, I wish I had, because they did come out a little uneven. But that's okay. So now it's just the easy part of just, actually I'm going to do them up this way. Gluing the pieces on. Oh, it's sticking to my finger. Actually, before I glue that one on better, I'm going to glue this one on first. I think that would be best. So we're going to glue this one on. Then we'll glue this piece on. And 
there's our creeper. Okay, so there's bookmark number one. And that one, it's, it's pretty easy. Once you get the fold down, and actually with, more, with practice, you'll get that fold down um, pretty quickly. So now we are going to focus on our unicorn. So for that one, we're going to need white paper. Actually, you're going to need two pieces of white paper. You'll need one square, and I'm going to use a square because I happen to have a square cut out, but just any kind of scrap white paper will work too. And that's what actually what I did with this one for, for the mane on and the ears and the horn. I just used scrap paper and crayons or like markers, colored pencils, whatever you have. Um, so you're going to do the same fold that I did for, for the creeper. We're going to take our corner and match two opposite corners to get our triangle. And I'm going to show this to you again just in case you didn't watch the creeper one. If you just fast forwarded to the unicorn, um, I'll show you the fold again. Okay, so we matched opposite corners and we have a triangle. You're going to put this point facing away from you. I have it facing towards me because I want it to be facing away from you in the video. So you can see it away. We're going to take one corner, fold it up to that top corner. We're going to do the same thing on this side. Sorry, sometimes I just need to turn it around for myself. There we go. Now we're going to unfold those. Um, technically, you don't have to do that part first, but I like having these creases here for this part. You're going to take, you're going to, you have two layers here. You're going to take one layer and fold it. And I like having that guide of those lines to help me make sure I'm centering it the right way. So we're going to fold these back over. And once again, we're going to do some more folds. We are going to, I'm going to put it this way so you can see. So now we have a pocket. We're going to take this corner. We're going to take one of our flaps and match the sides up. So you're going to bring this corner up, matching the sides together. And crease. Same thing on the other side. You're going to move this, bring this corner up to the top corner. And crease. And as I said for the creeper, you don't necessarily have to do it that way first by bringing these up. I like to do that because it, for me it makes the next part easier. Because we have our pocket here, so we're going to take this and fold it under. And I find folding it under is easier when I already have that crease. And it does take practice, but I think once, once you get it, once you practice and get it, do it a few times, It's actually pretty easy. Okay, so now we are going to make our mane. Um, that one I did as a rainbow. I'm going to do multicolors on this one too, but I'm going to kind of do more purples and pinks on this one. Actually, and I'm going to throw in the blue in there too. I'm going to focus on the blues and the purples. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Actually, I'm probably doing more colors than it. I'm probably making them wider than I need because I don't. My mane's not going to be that big. So we're actually going to. So I'm just kind of making. Um, line. Okay. So it's okay that the edges are not even because we're going to. Tr we'll trim that. I'm going to give that a little bit more there. So we're going to cut that out and trim it. So now it's all flat. So we'll do the same thing here. So now before I glue this on, I'm going to do little snips. I'm going to do it this side. To make the unicorn hair. Oh, I have a runaway crayon. Now you can see we have main. Um, the one thing I might have to do is trim it. The, you want it to be the same width as 
the fold here. So I need to trim it just a little bit. And I'm going to, since the blue side is the wider side, I'm going to trim it there. That should be, there we go. All right. So you can measure that in advance if you want um, to make sure you get all your all the colors you want in there. Um, and that's what I that's what I should have done. Okay, so we're gonna put some glue on the back side and slip it underneath there. So you do want it a little bit smaller than that because you're gonna slip we're gonna slip it under to glue it. There we go. So now we have our hair. We just need our ears and our horn. So with the horn, it's just a triangle. Oh, you know what? I should probably color. It will be easier to color first. And you can make it any color you want. I'm using like an orange gold, yellow orange, to kind of give it like a gold ish kind of look. But if you, you can make your horn any color that you want. Because this is your project. And not every unicorn has to be the same. Okay, so, sorry. So we just got a triangle for our horn. I'm gonna give it, trim it just a little. Came out a little bigger than I wanted. There we go. I feel like I could use a little more color on the bottom. And then our ear. So, I should have a pencil. I forgot to bring a pencil over with me. But we're gonna use this crayon to make an ear. Okay. So you can see it just kind of drew, drew an ear. And I'll cut it out. I did draw, draw it a little wide because then I figured I could when I cut it I'll trim it. I've seen these positions a couple different kinds of ways. So I'll move my crayons out of the way. So sometimes I've seen the horn up here and the ear here. I've seen it that way. Um, I've seen the ear more like this. And then sometimes the horn's here or here. So you can position it whatever way you think it looks best. That's where you can put it. I am going to put the horn right here, and the ear I'm going to put right there. Then you can draw, put a nose in, and I. It can do eyes different ways. You see, this one I kind of left a little white middle here. This one I just did a little, a little eye, a small eye. So we have our bookmarks now, and then you just put your pages right in the pocket. And I will have paper available at the library with some written instructions, a link to the video, and the books that I talked about, and some other poetry books too. So I hope you have fun making this project, and I hope you stop by the library soon. Have a good day. Bye.